So we're performing two tests today to assess whether we have ascites, fluid collection in the peritoneal cavity in our patient. The first of the two is called the shifting dullness test. So what I'm going to do is, with our patient's midsection exposed, so I'm on the skin, I'm going to percuss starting from the midline. We're finding where we move from tympany to dullness. So we're finding our line of dullness here. We're making a mental note of that. And then I'm gonna have you just turn over onto your side. We're gonna have our patient move over onto their side. And again, starting from midline, we're percussing to find that point of dullness once again. In Angela's case, the dullness was the same location both ways. So that's a negative test. A positive test would be if that location of dullness shifted as per the name of the test, and that would be suggestive of fluid moving when the patient changes positions from lying on their back to lying on their side. The second test that we have is also for ascites, and we're gonna enlist Angela's help on this one. If you could just place your hand firmly on your midsection, and then as the operator, we'll place one hand on either side, and we'll use one hand to tap and generate an impulse on one side. Again, in Angela's case, we have a negative test. I was unable to feel that wave being translated across her body, and she's using her hand to make sure that wave doesn't accidentally get passed through soft tissue. What we're looking for with a positive sign is that wave being passed through any sort of fluid that would be collecting in the peritoneal cavity. So with the patient holding, if you can feel that fluid wave moving across the body, that could also be indicative of perhaps having a collection of fluid in the peritoneal cavity.